after 13 seasons of racing at Ford, switching over to Joe Gibbs at Toyota this year, and joining that team, kind of the go-to guy. He wanted to have success as soon as he could. Finishing second, Casey Kane dominated much of the race, and he's standing by with Steve Burns. Yeah, what a great race car the five team put underneath Casey Kane. Talk about the battle at the end of the race with Matt Kenseth. Well, I had an unbelievable fun with insurance Chevrolet throughout the whole race. Pit stops were great. And uh, we just came out sixth there, which I think Matt would have beat us out anyways because he, he didn't take uh, tires. So, you know, tough to say we got by him. But I think just two cycles on the left side, I wasn't quite as good. I couldn't turn down the track quite as well as I could the runs before and just got greasy out there. And uh, that was it. So he beat us. But we had, uh, I had a great day. I, you can drive so hard. Like, I drove so hard every single lap. Um, today and, and I think that's just the new the Gen 6 car and Chevy SS but uh, it was a lot of fun I I loved it I had the car to beat today and we lost but uh, it, was, it was still a great run for all of our guys thanks Casey great job let's go to Chris Meyer that's a great time Casey led the most laps and failed to win a two-man show over the final 26 laps and Matt Kenseth holds the Different adjustments on that last stop how much more did you need well it, it helped us. I mean, it got the car tightened up, but it was too tight for the first 10 laps where I was really good in the run before. And then after that, I was still going loose. So we didn't really save the right rear tire any like we were trying to do. But all in all, great day. Uh, these guys worked really, really hard. And I got us boxed in with a pit road penalty early. But we clawed our way back up through there. And the Seminence Camry was fast enough to help me do that. And uh, Dave and the guys made some great calls. Just wish we had a little bit more there at the end. And um, you know, a little bit more long run speed. You know, I felt like short run speed was really good, so we've got some work to do, but good to see the 20 in victory lane and uh, Matt's first time, you know. I wish it was us, but uh, if it's a JGR car, that's good. Great recovery by Kyle Busch. Chris? More than six decades of NASCAR and only four times has a driver won on his birthday. Cale Yarbrough did it twice, Kyle Busch did it once, and today, however old he is, Matt Kenseth, number one with the family and in victory lane in Las Vegas. we we'll more in a moment. Kenseth wins it, and the celebration continues. There's Joe Gibbs, Michael Walter fires the podium finish, Casey Kane, who dominated, finishing second, and Brad Keselowski, the only driver this year to finish in the top five in all three races. But, Michael, how about this battle for seventh with Junior and Truex? It's a crossover move by Truex. He tries to get to the bottom of Junior, and he almost gets there, but Junior edges him at the finish line. A couple of Juniors going at it there. And uh, Truex Jr., Dale Earnhardt Jr., Junior wound up seventh, Truex eighth, as we check out the unofficial results. And worth mentioning, as you see Kent as the winner, the guys like Casey King, Kyle Busch, Truex Jr., Kevin Harvick, who all were outside the top 30 coming into this race, had good finishes today as we had the Bristol in the fourth race of the year. Yeah, we talked about Carl Edwards leaving Daytona in a hole. He dug out of it at Phoenix by winning. These guys now have themselves in a better position going forward. Greg Biffle's in trouble in the fifth at 17. You saw Denny Hamlin at the 15. I'm sure he's satisfied with the car and his performance today. A great, great run for our rookie, Richie Stenhouse Jr. We saw him bouncing off the wall, but he never gave up. Kept after he got a solid top 20. And just under the speed record for this track at 146 miles per hour. The cautions later in the race slowed people down. to Etika Patrick, a rough start from the back of the field. And uh, you see the drivers rounding out the field. Let's check in uh, down track side with Matt Gilbert. It looked almost like Brad Keselowski was running for office when he got out of his race car. He walked up to Casey Kane, patted him on the back for a great run, walked back to Kyle Busch. But what's most impressive, the recovery by you and this team. Yeah, you know, we uh, got behind there on one of them pit stops and uh, just kept working, kept working, kept working. And I felt like if I could just get the 20 off of pit road, I would, I would have had something for him. But... Uh, you know, starting on the inside, he kept spinning his tire on the restart, and I'd have to slow down so I wouldn't beat him to the line by a bunch and, and get in trouble. So when he would do that, it would just check everybody up, and uh, it would all gang up on me, and I couldn't do anything without wrecking everybody. So uh, just one of them deals. The last thing I would do is jump restart, get put in the back, and uh, I think we all know how that works. So uh, gave it a good effort with the Miller Life Board. A lot better than what we were in practice, and uh, everybody on my team, everybody at Penske Racing, they keep working on these cars. and. We don't seem to have a lot of speed in practice or qualifying, but when it comes to the race, uh, these guys are the best. Start of the day first and third continues that impressive start to his season. Thanks, Matt. And Brad Keselowski in defense of his title after three. I know victory is yet, but he's showing you his switch from Dodge to Ford. He can hang right in there with old five times. Well, he couldn't have said it any, any better. That car was terrible yesterday. <laughs> he took him overnight and put him in a position to, to win the race.
Eric Almirola gets a little attention just ahead of Michael Walter Bracey and Clint Boyer in the points as we head to Bristol, Tennessee, rounding out the top 20. This rookie, uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., hanging in there. Casey Kane wanted to improve his position. So did Tony Stewart and Kyle Busch as well. Matt Kenseth, the big football fan, big Packer fan from Wisconsin, but with Joe Gibbs, good coaching, good race team, a victory for the 20 car. One more from Vegas in a moment. His first victory, his first ride in victory lane. Chris Joe Gibbs racing, taking the event here in Las Vegas. Tonight on Fox, tune in a little bit later. The fans are all heading to their TV sets to watch Bob's Burgers, Family Guy, the Simpsons. It's animation, not a domination <laughs> on Fox. I know if you're not there in person, you'll want to be there at the Coliseum of Racing. It's always a great scene. It's loud and exciting. Brad Keselowski won in Bristol last year. Matt Kenton has won there twice. And you know Kyle and Kurt Busch always run there, as uh, run well there as well. Next on Speed, Victory Lane for continuing race coverage from Las Vegas. Tune in to Victory Lane over on speed. So with 41 laps to go, the Toyota engine held up for Matt Kenseth as he fought off Casey Kane. As the saying goes, what happens in Las Vegas stays here unless you take home the trophy. For Michael Walter, our entire gang, I'm Chris Myers. Thanks for watching NASCAR on Fox. And for Matt Kenseth, Las Vegas is Win City. Circus, the Wild Asphalt Circus at Texas Motor Speedway.